I just can't show it off. Um, hey, what's up, YouTube? This is NTI Mikey, and this tutorial, I'm really happy to make this video because I'm really to make it. Now, this is my useful applications. Uh, there will not be no link to the description to get these for free or the link to get it to just download it. Um, some of these are free, some of them are not. I'm going to tell you if they're free or not at the end, okay? So don't worry. Don't waste your time. Try to get the free ones and try to get them not. Alright. Some of these applications you really know is fine, but just want to make a reminder. Thank you for all those Mac people on the YouTube telling me these applications are useful. So I'm going to share these to all of you guys to pass it down. Uh, first things first, we got App Cleaner. App Cleaner is mostly like App Zapper. If you don't know what App Zapper is, App Zapper is just like an application finder that also finds files that connect to it. So your Mac will be double cleaner. Okay? So once you delete it. The other one's caffeine. Caffeine allows you to keep your Mac awake and should be in your menu bar. So it won't show you that sleeping sign. The one is Camino. Camino is just like installing Firefox but for a Mac style. Clean my Mac. Clean my Mac actually cleans your Mac. Okay? All you need to do is just scan it and remove stuff that Clean My Mac can tell it need to be removed. Fluid tunes, fluid tunes for example. I'll just open it. First off, you need to open your iTunes with this. And what this do is allows you to show you images like on okay, show me images. Oh well. Oh if you can tell it showed the laughing baby. It showed you cover flow, but oh yeah, I'm using myself as the other eyesight. Sorry, YouTube's I can't show you this yet. Uh, but I'll show you later on. I'll show you. I'll I'll show you another video about this. Okay. The other one's Google Earth. Google Earth allows you to you know find address stuff in a 3D image in motion, and plus show you pictures that Stella have taken off from the pictures and sent it to the internet. The other one's Handbrake. Handbrake is mostly it's kind of difficult by ripping DVDs, but I get the work done. Take a little bit slower, but it's good. It's really good. Uh, the other one's I antivirus. I antivirus have I antivirus the antivirus profit smart update which is for you to update the anti and install antivirus. But I must just use this. It's totally free. Hopefully you guys are happy to use it. Um the other one's iLife. iLife is basically with these applications. Guitar, GarageBand, you should all know that, because all these are should be in your Mac, GarageBand, iDVD, iMovie, iPhoto, and iWeb. GarageBand allows you to edit movies and create movies. Gra iDVD allows you to um, burn movies into your blank DVDs. iMovie allows you to edit movies and create movies. Um, iPhoto allows you to, you know, have its own library of music and plus editing photos. Uh, the other one is iWeb. iWeb is mostly creating a website for you to blog or something like that. iSerial Reader. iSerial Reader is um, mostly, let's say here, it's a serial coder, just like Casey and Screw. I'm not going to use my time saying Casey and Screw. Same thing about this. I work have I work uh, have keynotes, numbers, and pages. All these are Office apps. If you want to know, the other one is MacTube. MacTube is technically a really interesting YouTube um, thing. It allows you to access to the YouTube world, but not to the website. Only to the YouTube videos for you to select. You can do the option. You can even select it and download the YouTube for free. Uh, I think this is the best one they ever made for a Mac to download stuff. Uh, there's many other type of apps that can you can download videos on YouTube. Uh oh, sorry. Um, hold on. Um, Pixameter is mostly a it's like a cheap photo editing, not that much. Cool looking, but I got cool images for you to edit it, and cool looking design for you to see the quality of looks. Quicksilver, Quicksilver allows you to open your 
you know, apt a little bit faster. Yeah. Forgive me for this. Alright, now, after when that's done, we got Rip It. Rip It is mostly, basically, a DVD ripper. It's really fast. They say it's the fastest. I agree with them. But, um, I'll tell you later on at the end. Alright? ScreenFlow is the application I'm using right now to record all this stuff. Uh, you can see right now, I'm not using QuickTime X, I'm using QuickSilver because I think it gives you more quality looking. The other one is Cinute. Uh, Cinute is mostly, um, basically it's the, it's like the magic iPod converter that can convert the iPod music into your iTunes. It's really amazing for you because once you insert your iPod and you try to drag the music to your iTunes library, it won't convert it to it, right? So this application allows you to do that. The other one, Speed Download. Speed Download is basically a really fast downloader. You can install it connecting to your internet. Once you download stuff, it'll download really rapidly fast, okay? You got your other options for this. Uh, I'll just guarantee it using Speed Download. The other one's uh, the unattract drift or whatever it's called. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm not a good reader. Um, what this application do? It allows you to open some of the files that you know your Mac can't open with. Um, you can open RAR files, um, ROM files, zip files if you want to open it like rapidly. The other one's transmission. Transmission is it used to be the best um, BitTorrent downloader. But now they have another torrent downloader, but I'm not amazed by it. It's kind of confusing for me. Okay. Now, other one, other option is Visual Hub. Visual Hub is just like iSquint, but in a, you know, in a, in more optional way. Okay. Um, what this application do is it's a it's a very fast converter. Once you download stuff off the internet, it'll show you a blank file for your media stuff to play. If your QuickTime can't play it and, and you can't convert it to your iTunes or iPod, then it won't be able to be played, right? So this application allows you to convert the file into an MP4 or any optional that this application allows you to do. Um, it's a really fast converter, okay? I guarantee it. Uh, the other one's Visual Hub. Uh, um, VLC. VLC is uh, technically it's one of the most best media players ever but it's kind of irritating once you download an FLV file off the internet and try to convert it to your iTunes but it's a really fast player it allows you to play videos and give you high quality stuff okay um, I'm not judging it but it's one of the best that's what they say now the last one is Xlimmer Xlimmer is basically um, an application that will cut down your application size megabytes so your Mac will go faster you know if your VLC like weighs about 5 megabytes and you use Xlimmer it'll cut it down to 4.3.5 megabytes or something like that basically that's what mostly Xlimmer could do for you uh, I guarantee it it will help your Mac to go faster alright since I have read down all my applications I recommend for you know naming them if they're free or not this one's free, 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 money, free, m free, free, free. If you want to get the full vision, then there's money involved by it. Money, 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 money. It should be installed on your computer. Free, free, I, I, money, my bad. Free, free, money, free, money, 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 free free money free money there hopefully all these applications that you know is really helpful uh, please recommend it visit my LD channel MTM123 iPower um, and subscribe to me there I, I don't care if you subscribe to me in this area I guarantee if you subscribe to my old channel my original channel should be in my should be in the description. That's the only link I'm going to show you. 
and subscribe there, not here, okay? Um, thanks for watching YouTube. Uh, please subscribe and leave comments.